Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing random shit I have bought during lockdown number three for you all to see. I know we are all so guilty of just buying stuff at the moment. We have nothing else to look forward to besides DPD rocking up outside our door. So um, yeah, everything in this haul is super casual, stuff you can wear about. And I also have books and glasses. So if you wanna see what random shit I bought, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I bought are these My Protein leggings. I got the Sinead Haig um, discount, so they were so cheap. I think they were 10 euro, something scandalous. As you can see here, they have a really nice band. They're super cute, like they're so stretchy, like absolutely able to run a marathon. Not that I can, but if I wanted to, I could in these shorts. Comparing it with a long sleeve kind of running jersey. I love these long sleeve ones. I think they're super flattering. I feel like a lot of the stuff that can be for exercise can be really tight. But like I hate with tight clothes when I'm exercising. I think it's fine in my legs obviously, but especially around the belly area, I like things to be flowy and super light and easy to run in. And also my protein are so smart. They've done like the little discoloring in the back so it gives you a bit of an ass. And yeah, very cute approve these are the blue version i really like these two exact same thing again with the band this actually goes nicer with the navy so both of those shorts together were 20 euro i mean such a bargain very affordable very cute i mean what more would you want this is my protein so i'm going to show you my h&m stuff now so from h&m i got these lavender kind of lilac -y leggings oh my god so so comfy for the price i think these are 19.99 so comfy and they're really 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 high band so it's just super comfy when you're exercising or just pure cash and i think they're nice like you can wear them around they don't just have to be for exercising i kind of want to get something to go with them so i got this pink floyd top i think it's really nice i got size small in this i kind of wish now if i had the chance to go back i probably would get the medium just to have it a little bit more oversized but the small is still cute and i like how they both work together and to go over this i got this really oversized cream hoodie um i really like this this is like the perfect jumper to wear with leggings because i feel like sometimes leggings can be weird in this area and it just kind of covers it all up and you can only just see your legs part which i love super casual, super comfy and oh my god it is so 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 soft yeah that's what i got from h&m like again with h&m everything the quality is so good for the price everything's really soft and really easy to wear i definitely gravitate more towards my h&m stuff just because they're so comfy so yeah definitely for loungewear they are my number one and um, so next i'm moving on to just misguided from misguided i got these brown leggings i love brown as i said in my last video brown has been the color of the season and i just love brown and cream i think it's so nice they're such a nice combination together super high waistband got these in size small and they're actually a bit too like i wouldn't mind size down on the waist but they're perfect in the legs if you can see there but they're all ribbed they're really nice super comfy i actually bought the matching sports bra for this but it did not come so next i will be moving on to books as i said i'm going to be doing books next i got two books both of them are kind of self-help books and i was never one for self-help books my sister Aoife is so into them she's been reading them for years whereas i saw books as like complete other spectrum love novels crime novels anything really once it was a novel had a good story i'd be hooked for a few days and then might not read another book for another three months or whatever i've always been into positivity and stuff so i saw Sinead hegarty um i'll put her instagram here um i follow her she's really good she does really finding your purpose and making sure that what you're doing in life is aligned with who you are and what you want to be so the books that she said that changed her life were one of these was awaken the giant within and this is by anthony robbins he kind of like a lot of inspirational speakers he came from a background where he was working as a janitor on really low pay he felt really bad about himself and then one day he had this epiphany that he really only has one life and that he wants to make the absolute most out of it and he absolutely changed his life through the way he thinks so that's basically what this is that we all have a giant within us and that we just need to awaken it so i love this stuff i could talk about this all day long because it's just it just kind of makes more sense as to why we're all here and making the most of our lives and just feeling happy so this is really good now at the moment i haven't read again and there's stuff like oh you can literally change your life with one decision and some of the stuff isn't very applicable for the middle of a pandemic but i'm sure once life resumes this is so good and it's kind of an easy read as well it's very normal language 
very easy to read. So my next one is The Laws of Human Nature. Again, this was very much recommended by Sinead Haig. This one, not so readable. It's kind of a tough read, but then again, at the same time, there is so many valuable lessons to be learned from it. Um, it just teaches you about people's behavior and how their actions actually have a representation of what's happened to them in the past, and that's why they're that kind of person. Or if someone does something towards you that makes you feel uncomfortable, note it and be like, God, I never want to make someone else feel like that. It just makes you a bit more aware of people's actions and it kind of helps you understand and to get less riled up and just kind of control your emotions more. And yeah, I don't know, it is really good. Then again, as I said, it's huge. Like it is tough to read. When I read these, it's usually before bed. I don't like reading them in the morning. It's just, I don't know. I'm more like get up and get the coffee as opposed to let's chill and read. Chill and read is definitely my before bed thing. But yeah, again, really, really good. Has really good life tips. And yeah, thank you Sinead Hegg for recommendations. Changing lives. So the second last thing I have is oh, Refuge Beauty. I spoke about this in my last video as well that I was on the waiting list for the Refuge Beauty products. If anyone doesn't know, this is Jess Hunt's um, eyebrow range and Jess Hunt has the most amazing eyebrows ever. And she has come out with kind of like three products to achieve those eyebrows. So there's a gel, there's a brush, there's an eyebrow pencil, and then this one is like the pomade. So there's so much and I can't wait to get stuck into these. My eyebrows definitely need some help. I have very kind of fair eyebrows naturally. So I got the shade medium in this. So the very last thing I bought are glasses. We really needed to get glasses. So at the moment, if you have broken glasses or if it's emergency, you can still get your appointment sex savers and my glasses were actually broken. So I went in, got my eye tests and my glasses. So I can't show you. Now, I I'm absolutely a devil for if I like a shape, that's the shape I'm going with. I just hate, like, I act, it gives me the crawls of actually buying something and then regretting it. Like, if I know that round glasses suit me, then I'm sticking with the round glasses probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, I know that's a really bad way to be, but then again, if they suit you, you suit you. Um, it's just because I got a few comments like, oh, I thought you were getting me glasses, and I was like, yeah, I did. These are them. They look, they look exactly the same to you last. But anyway, I know they're new and I can see the differences. Okay, so my last pair were kind of, just for reference, were kind of silver and they're round. So this pair are <laughs> round and brown, such a difference. So they have these like fab little sides here. They're so nice and they're just, yeah, as I said, round glasses. These are them. Cute, I definitely like them. I know for people who probably don't wear glasses, this is a really boring thing to be on about. But for people who do wear glasses, I mean, there isn't anything more exciting than getting new glasses. So these are them, they have the, those fab sides. I just think round, it's my face. I think too big kind of, it just doesn't really work. I got them in sex savers, so they're still doing that same deal like they've been doing forever. Buy one, get one free. So this was my first pair. I think these are my preferred pair. Brand of these are called Ass and Tate. I'll link them down below. And my second pair are from Orla Kylie. Check out the box. So Orla Kylie. And then these are kind of more my Harry Potter vibes. These are very circular, but I think they're cute. I'll just try them on for you there. These are them. Sorry, the hearing lights are really blocking them, but these are them. They have, again, the sides are kind of cute and yeah. I think these will be cute and more neutral outfits, just creams and maybe denims. Whereas I think my black ones will be better for kind of every day. I wear my contacts a lot, but I also wear my glasses a lot as well. And I also got anti-glare in them. So that was 45 euro per glass, which kind of really revved up the prices. So yeah, these are kind of my main pair I will be wearing probably most days. I think everyone on YouTube and Instagram usually sees me without glasses, but I'm a full-time glasses wearer. I need them. So yeah, I'll link them down below because I know anyone who has glasses and we're always interested in trying out new pairs. And I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know it's been a bit random between glasses and books and eyebrow products, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'm delighted to be kind of back doing YouTube again. I'm gonna try to get two videos up a month and um, it's just because I'm working full time as well. So anything that I'm doing is usually on the weekend. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Literally all you to do is just gonna creep down there, hit subscribe, costs you nothing. Thanks so much for watching, bye.